What is up guys, it is Bosnian Cheese, and I'm coming back with another Assassin's Creed Unity. Episode 7, I believe, sequence 4 out of 12, I just checked, is, um, sequence 4 is what we're about to do. Sequence 4, memory 1, the kingdom of beggars. Somewhere in La Cor de Mirica, Mirica, I, I can't even say that, is a Templar agent who knows where to find Roy de Thunes. God, they're just messing me up right at the beginning of the video, aren't they? All right, let's uh, let's find this guy. Let's find the guy that knows where this guy is. Because um, I'm gonna guess. I only played this a couple days ago, but I'm gonna guess that uh, this guy is integral to things. La Cour de Mirac Miracles. Miracles. Okay. So, um, you can see, I have, I want to update you guys real quick. I did play a little bit. I just got my, uh, you know, stats up a little bit so I could be a little better and go through the story a little better. You can see I'm an elite apprentice now. I don't know what I was before, but that's what I am now. And then I discovered a few new places. Well, I didn't discover them, but went and got, uh, went to the viewpoints and now we got them on the map. So, yeah, we have not honestly seen much of the map. We've been pretty much in this area right here, and now this next mission has brought us all the way over here in pretty much the corner. So, uh, yeah, let's get on with this. Let's find that agent. That our eagle vision. Of course, they're never going to be right where you walk in. Okay, there's these guys over here. Oh, he was in the colonies a few years ago. Now that was ugly. Just keep one eye on your person, you'll be fine. Okay, let's see if we can just walk through here. Inconspicuously. Nope. Oh, I'm just chilling. I don't know what you guys are doing. Oh. Hey, you're blowing my cover. You're blowing my cover. Okay. I feel like it's this guy. Nope. Where? Where are you? Oh, there. I see you. Oh, I wouldn't do that. Look. <sighs> Lovely, no? The good folk of Paris give more money to crippled beggars than whole ones. Le Roi des Thunes sees in that a bit of trivia, an opportunity to motivate his less successful employees. That man has lost a foot. Now you can charge in there, cause a great disturbance, and send all the rats scurrying back to their holes. Or you can disappear into the swarm and follow the rats back to their king. Either way, that man has lost a foot. It's done. Take him to the clinic for a proper cauterization, then send him back to the street. Come on, up you get. I appreciate the advice. Not yet. Who are you, precisely? And why help me? <laughs> oh, I've had my eye on you for some time now, Arno. I feel it my sovereign duty to aid all those who suffered in cruelest bondage with me at the Bastille. And I have a vested interest in seeing the King of Rats caught in a trap. As to my name, I have the pleasure of being Donatien Alphonse Francois, Marquis de Sand. Do pay me a visit. When you've tired of chasing vermin. Oh, he's left a lovely trail. <laughs> Good luck. Okay, so this guy, Marquis de Sade, seems like, um... Uh... He's gonna help us out and I really want to know what's going on so I'm gonna go ahead and read this and like I said before if you hover over the timeline in YouTube you can see where I stop reading this so 
I don't feel bad about reading. All right. Donatien Alphonse Francois de Sade was born in 1740. He came from a typical noble French family full of soldiers and clergymen and entered the army at the age of 14. Apparently, he didn't find it to his liking because he left at the age of 31. Well, he stayed there for so long. Okay. De Sade was the quintessential black sheep. An atheist and great lover of the performing arts, he was above all the libertine and used his family's wealth and influence to get away with an astonishing array of crimes. Lucky that could never happen nowadays. <laughs> yeah, right. It's a telling symptom of the Entian regime's corruption that he was considered merely a scandalous figure and not a violent criminal. Much of his adult life was spent shuffled between different prisons where he wrote numerous texts, nearly all of which were deemed obscene and heavily censored. He was liberated in 1790 and, sensing the change that was in the air, renounced his title and got himself elected to the convention. He continued to write in the same pornographic vein while simultaneously pardoning every criminal, nearly every criminal sent before him. <clears throat> I had a headmaster a little like that for a while. His governmental tenure was short-lived. In late 1793, openly critical of Robespierre, he was arrested for moderatism and imprisoned for a year. He never rejoined the political sphere, and in 1801, under Napoleon's orders, he was arrested once again and sent to prison, where he would remain until his death in 1814, having outlived a monarchy, a revolution, and an empire. Damn, and he spent 13 years in prison under Napoleon and died there. That's tough. Still, at least he had his naughty writing to keep him warm at night. How sweet. Oh, look at this. A path. Uh-oh. Okay. Moving along. All right, we're gonna have to be real sneaky because um, we gotta tail a rat. How do we uh? It's like we're not gonna take the front door, right? We're gonna take the back. It's like hard to see things when everything's lit up with eagle vision. Let's see what's this way. Okay, boom. Okay. If I'm being quiet, just know uh, I like to listen in on these little conversations. Uh, I don't feel safe going this way. In fact, I'm not going to go that way. I'm going to go up. Maybe I could just stay on top of these roofs. Oh, God, why did I do that? That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. He's gonna come this way and you know what's gonna happen to him that's what's gonna happen cuz that's what happens when you tail an assassin all right let's uh let's climb oh god he got away oh there he is uh oh yeah we don't need you muddying things up all right. Seems like this guy is just uh. Oh God, who sees me? Oh no, you won't. Come on. That's what I thought. Okay, so they're talking about a very violent guy. I don't know if you guys heard that, but um, some guy misplaced a one in a ledger, and yeah, the guy said he could still hear his screams. It's pretty messed up. Why is that guy glowing? Is this, oh, he's a he's a store. He himself is a store. Okay, we're going that way. Maybe let's do a little more climbing so we can stay out of the way of things. Out of way f away from people that want to hurt us. Get 
Come inside, quickly. Something doesn't feel right. Uh, he's dead, sir. Then toss him in the gutter and get yourselves inside! Okay. We should probably read up on this guy too, the guy we're tailing, so. Alois Latouche. A tax assessor during the reign of Louis XVI, Alois Latouche seemed destined for a life of middle class mediocrity. He was a tax assessor, he had only himself to blame. <laughs> Records indicate that he was dismissed from his post amidst charges of bribery and unable to find further employment, he sank into obscurity. And obscurity means Templars. Alright, uh, find Latouche. Oh, there he is. <laughs> no need to jump on him. Oh god, he's gonna... They're gonna see him. I don't think they will. Ooh, a new rank. Oh, I'm just a soldier now. No more apprentice, no more trainee. Just a assassin soldier. How sweet is that? Alright, I kind of want to kill everybody in this building. But maybe I don't have to. Mm, what's my way in here? Let's see. Oh god, that guy saw me. Oh god. Get in there, get in there! Oh god, they all found me. Oh god, this is no longer a sneaky thing. Oh look, an artifact. Ooh. <laughs> He's running right past me. He said, get out of my way. I got an assassin to kill. Alright, maybe if I just... Stay here. I'm gonna get found. Booyah. I think that's just about everybody. Except for the man himself. Oh god, there's some screaming in here. Alright, now it is time to enter the domain. and I'll spare you your life. The carcoles! He's in the carcoles, but he feel church! <gasps> Latouche, I expected a stronger spine than yours. What will your master say? Oh, God. Lord, help me. Jesus, calm down. Okay. I mean, yeah, you can just take one look at this guy, no, or that guy, no, he was a spineless bastard. I bet he couldn't get his leg cut off. Alright, we just gotta escape the area. Boom! And just like that. And just like that. Boom. Nothing to it, baby. Um... What's this next mission shaping up to look like? Lara de Tones is skulking around somewhere in the sewers below La Cor de Miracles. Miracles. Find him and end him. Ha <laughs> ha. You know what? We're not even that far in this video, so I might I might just uh just go do that. Let's go find him and end this guy. Not just kill him, we're gonna end him. And he's somewhere in the sewers, so uh you know what that means. It's gonna be a shitty mission. <laughs> Alright, let's go. <get, laughs> let's do this. Boom, starting up here. I like it. Whoa.
Piss off, you lot. Okay, so this is gonna be one of these, you know, one of those real assassinate missions. One entrance, five hiding spots, 54 guards. So, that probably means we shouldn't fight the guards, but there doesn't seem to be that many here. I wish I could assassinate people from here. I used to be able to do that in the other games. Alright, let's see. That's bad. Yeah, we're going in for the fight. It's just gotta happen. It's just... I'm getting a lot better at fighting now, so it seems like a more viable choice when it used to always be a... Uh... Ooh, see that? Boom. Roll past, go for the guy with the gun. You always want to take out the guys with the guns, because for some reason, they never want to stop using guns. You'll get right up next to them, they'll be pointing a gun at you when they have a sword. It's like, what's up with that? Let's get in here. Are we supposed to fit in this? What? What is this? Oh, it's a chimney. And we're sabotaging it. I like that a lot, actually. We're going to smoke him out. Smoke him out. Where's the... Uh... The other chimney over there. Yeah, let's go. And then I don't know where they. Oh, oh, not that way. This way, this way, and then, and then, this way. Is this where the other chimney is? Cause you know I want to sabotage this chimney. You know I do. What's this gray area then? What's this? Uh. Oh, that's the hideout. Uh oh. Defend the beggars. Oh, I'll, I'll defend the beggars. Oh, you know I love defending beggars. You know I'm all about the little man. Boom. We don't need you in this town. Bam. That's what we do to Templars. That's what happens to Templars around here. Oh, now the beggars are gonna help. Uh oh. I'm out of you. Woo! That's my favorite thing about this game. Alright, where is that goddamn chimney? Up. Up. Is it... It's gotta be over here, huh? Ah, no, that's the entrance. The chimney's gotta be over there, then. I just really wanna sabotage this chimney because... Just how great would that be? I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen, but how great would that be? Just smoking them out, you know? Let's go see. No, it's got to be somewhere over here. I uh, probably just barely missed it. Um, not in here. Not in here. Okay. Well, the chimney's not on the roof. I know that because the other one wasn't on the roof. And this thing, this whole thing's underground. So, is it over here? I don't think so. Is it over here? I don't. Oh, there it is, you son of a bitch. Yeah. All right. So we sabotage the chimneys. Um. That should smoke them out. <laughs> that should smoke them out. I love it. Um. Now we're just gonna go up here. Okay, or just not. Please climb. There we go. And now we need to find the hideout, which was over here. Yes. I know where the hideout is. You don't got to tell me twice. You just got to give me some weapons. Give me my hidden blades. I only have one right now, and I want two. I want two hidden blades because my air assassinations, I can only do one at a time. And I can't even, I can hardly do one at a time. Ooh, now this guy needs to get air assassinated so I can get this little... Ooh, 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 please don't look at me. Please don't look at me. Shit. Alright, no air assassination. Just regular assassination for you. 
That's not really assassination if you kill someone to their face, right? I mean, really. All right, I'm not going to do the air assassinations. I'm just going to get in here. Smoke them out already. Gonna find you. Gonna kill Ooh, you. Gonna find you. Not going to kill me. Yeah, please hit me. Oh, yeah, I was waiting for it. Boom. Oh, God. Yeah, I got you, bitch. Still dodging. What are you gonna do? Not a thing. Boom. Alright. Now we gotta find... Oh, this is it. Okay, we weren't even underground, really. Ah, okay. So, the beggars kind of took the guards away from me. Okay. I'm sure just some of the guards, you know, not all the guards, but... Oh, I like that it actually shows me down here where I need to go. Because a lot of times in this game it doesn't, and um, I get confused. Can you blame me? Alright, everyone's just gonna die. Ain't no stealth. Ain't no stealth here when these guys are this weak. There's just no need. No need for that stealth. When you could just do that to everyone, like, what's the point? Moving, moving. Two at a time, baby. Uh-uh. What are you gonna do? That's when you just start running. You know? If you're just... If you know that you are average and you are, you are guarding the sewers. My lord! I've heard reliable reports that an assassin is nearby and that you are his intended target. The worm has grown a spine. Now he's a snake. Damn. It was only a matter of time I knew that much. This is far too soon. Oh, we, oui, my lord. The, the um, assassins are uh, well connected. But we have the advantage now, don't we? Muster the guard and lead the hunt for this assassin. Bring me his head. But, my lord, our men are out dealing with uprisings among the beggars. Cut that little uh, exchange right there, but looks like we're going to have to go around if we want to shut this dude up. Because he's a little... I like what he said right there. He's like the... He's like, the rat has grown a spine? I thought rats had spines. I don't know, he said something has grown a spine. Now it's a snake. I like that. I like that a lot. I'm gonna say that to someone and it's not gonna come across well. And they're gonna be like, shut up, nerd. And I'm gonna be like, okay. Oh god. Uh oh. Uh oh. Get down. I can't get down. There we go. Now you guys are gonna. Oh, damn, he hit me. I did not see that one coming, to be completely honest. Oh, but I saw that one coming. Easy. Ooh, killer. You don't get to survive. If all your friends die, it's the way of things. What's over that way? Oh, nothing. Oh, this guy's gonna die crazy. I know how to slide under. Oh, it's this dude, the rat. <laughs> you snake. Embarrassing. Well, I feel like they updated it. Nope. Nope. Because they brought it up again, so I figured they updated it, but... God damn. Yeah, he literally turned on his dude, turned on me, and turned on his dude again. Alright. Looks like... Heh. <laughs> trying to set a trap. Come on. Come on. You think that's gonna work on me? We gotta, we gotta find a way around this trap to where we don't even set that, set these dudes off. Can I go under here? <gasps> yes. Shit. Oh God, <laughs> you saw me. Okay, looks like it's not gonna be a... It's not gonna be a stealthy assassination, it's just gonna be a fight. 
But like I said, I'm okay with that. Oh god. Not when everyone's got guns. That's what I don't like. Because what the hell? What was that? He shot me once. Okay, maybe that was the main guy. I can understand if the main guy shot me once and I died, because you know, that's just fair. All's fair in love and war like that. Um I think this next time I am gonna try to be sneaky. I was trying to be sneaky there, but I mean, the climbing in this game is just kind of strange. It got me stuck in a spot. How far back am I? Oh, it's a high difficulty mission. Yeah, right. Like, I even know the meaning of the word difficulty. Hold your positions, men. All right, you guys are done. I'm going this way. Where is he? Just so they won't be able to uh, see me. Oh, hell yeah. Check that out. Ooh, that little spin move. Glorious. Oh, God. Yeah, we don't even gotta do anything with those guys. Oh, they're up here too? What do we got? Kill him. Why can't I? Oh, shit. God damn it. No, too many guns. I hate guns. I hate them. I don't need them. God damn it. Alright, so every two shots that I take. I'm going to heal. I don't have much medicine though, so. Oh, that's okay because we just got everybody. Now we're just gonna tricky, climb up. Tricky, assassin. tricky, tricky. That's not good. Uh, yeah. I know what's gonna happen. Ooh, get up there. Bitch. Uh uh. Let's assassinate him. Blah! My subjects have eyes everywhere, my lord. I offer their knowledge to the service of the Order. What knowledge could a king of the gutters offer us? The intrigues of rats. You may go. The intrigues of rats? Pompous fool, if I could lay my hands on him. My master would be pleased to arrange that. Brother. You're right, monsieur. Too much of the king's champagne. Sivir, come away! It is done. Delacere is dead, Grand Master. Good. Oh, let's loot this guy. Let's see what he's got. All right, anything new here? Uh, yeah, I don't think we read this guy's thing at all, do we? Roy de Thun, roughly the king of beggars, uh, is a title claimed by various influential f figures among the indigenous population of Paris. The first written references to someone using that name date to the reign of Louis the Fourteenth, but it's likely the term is much older. Some were benevolent spokespeople and organizers, others were ruthless extortionists and murderers. But it's fair to say that whoever they were, if they walked around calling themselves the king of beggars, you could be pretty sure they were complete jack wagons. Direct attestation uh, direct attestations are difficult to come by but anecdotal evidence suggests that the man claiming the title in 1791 may have been the unacknowledged illegitimate son of a minor nobleman who rose to a position of power in the Cora de la Miracles district sometime in the late 70 1770s his fate remains unknown but an unpublished letter dated early se February 1791 the Marquis de Sade re remarked the king is dead and none of his miracles can now save him since Louis XVI would not be executed for almost two more years, it's suspected that this may refer to Roy de Tunes. Assassins 2, Templars 0. Booyah. So that was the guy that set up the killing of Elise's father. But it's strange because he was also a Templar. He just didn't want this dude in his order. And for some reason, the Grandmaster of the Templar Order supported it. So now I'm thinking... Why, you know, why are Templars supporting the death of Templars? But, um... 
I imagine that's something we are going to find out. Oh, and this is why it's all smoky, so I can make my getaway really easily. Oh, no, down, down, I think. Yeah, let's go down. Ha ha ha. Yeah, it could be, huh? And you'd have no idea. Boom! Why is there, um... Oh, oh, okay. I was wondering why on the mini-map there was that icon, but it's because that's where the... The chimneys are, so the sewer visibility is reduced. That is very, very smart. I like it. Boom! Oh... He did that as if someone was following him, but <laughs> nobody was following him. He just risked his life for nothing. Just in time for the commencement of my reign. Your reign? As long as there's a cour des miracles, we must have a roi des tunes. And since there seemed to be a vacancy, I stepped in. With remarkable speed, the body's not yet cold. I may have set things in motion a trifle early. Say, when you first arrived at la cour des miracles... You used me. Your target is dead. We used one another. Quite a kingdom you've inherited. It is, isn't it? So, is justice served? Are the dead avenged? Is your soul soothed, all that rot? Rot is a fine description. Every time I think I'm getting close to the truth, it seems another layer of filth presents itself. <gasps> Conspiracy, intrigue, a rapidly thickening plot. Add some bestiality and a lecherous priest, and I say you have the beginnings of a beautiful novel. I'd settle for a solid lead. So young, and yet so serious. Well, best of luck to you. You have, I trust, looked into this. Where did you get that? One of my newly loyal subjects brought it to me as a token of esteem, as it were. It's a curious piece. I know of only one silversmith who works metal like this. A blade of this make killed Monsieur de la Serre. I can only assume you knew this already. Why didn't you say? Well, where would man be if he never had to ask questions? If everything he could ever want to know was simply handed to him, he might no longer think to ask questions. Or he might accomplish a great deal more unburdened by ignorance. Perhaps. The smith's name is François Thomas Germain. You'll find his shop near Léal. Thank you. Bonne chance. Okay. Okay. Good stuff. Well, looks like there is more pieces to the puzzle that we gained. And the puzzle just got a little bit bigger. So, I think that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.